We have been um, over a hundred year mono economy and suddenly that economy of coal has collapsed and is all but gone. We have a sort of social haunting. Unemployment brings depression, brings addiction, brings jail time with no reprieve. We went through a dark night of the soul trying to figure out what in the world to do. I mean, we fueled the Industrial Revolution. It's our way of life. But here's my thoughts on that. We don't have an aversion to science. We know about carbon emissions, but we don't want to be on unemployment or worse, be slanging drugs for a living. Because I got a history. We all deserve a second chance. So let's try to build a new economy. And so that's kind of what has happened with this bakery project. If you put a little finesse to it, it'll be smooth as silk. And if you're eating something really pretty, it tastes different than something that's not placebo effect. <laughs> we have to have it 900 degrees, and you gotta keep it good and hot, you can't forget it. A little saying, since I was a kid, if you name it after somebody that loves you, if it burns, then you really love you. <laughs> I mean, that's an old wives tale. You know, after I got out, work was impossible. I mean, look at me, you know? Tattoos everywhere and felonies. So nobody's gonna say, oh, you're perfect for this job, you know? And Gwen started talking about the bakery. And I was like, bake, you know? I cook ramen noodles. <laughs> what people around here have been used to has typically <laughs> been this bread that's kind of like the lint that you take out of your dryer. So we began to try to source the best things we could get our hands on and we began to bake from those things, and it's not been easy. Gwen put me on the pie crust, and that day I said, look, it's whooped me, I quit, I ain't done it, I'm, I'm done this pie crust. The next day I come in, she had the rest of that pie crust. She said, look, if you fall off a horse, you're getting back on it. Get on that pie crust. You just gotta stay at it. You can't become discouraged when something don't work out, because sometimes machinery fails you, sometimes ingredients will fail you. But we are human, so we feel too. I've lived a terrible life. I mean, I wouldn't buy a loaf of bread, but I'd go buy me a rock. I mean, I was a terrible, terrible person. You know, and I can't take that back now. But this place picked me up. You know, some of us haven't been incarcerated, but it was better luck than conduct, myself included. 10 years ago, addiction was taboo here. Now, if you're in recovery, like, they're praising you to give you motivation. And this is kind of like the center point for it all in Ledger County. People are seeing that we deserve a second chance. We have created an inclusive place of love and belonging for whoever wants to come. No matter what the religion, no matter what the sexual orientation, no matter what the background, no matter what the race, we try to make a place where everybody can fit in. I need that place too. And um, just to be, just to be a part of it is very rewarding. It's my take on it. You're about to lose your bandana. I'm about to lose you it. You told me to say if your hair was... It's not only my bandana that I'm about to lose. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't try to let things get me down because I know there's always tomorrow. And I just, I love this place. I mean, it's really helped me a whole lot. I can pretty much cook, you know, anything now. And to me, it's the best feeling in the world because I'm like, man, look where I'm at now, you know? I love my life right now. I love what I do. I've always been the black sheep in my family. 
which gives me a heart for others who fall into that trap. Thanks for watching this video. For more inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to Freethink on YouTube. Shady Grove, my little life, Shady Grove, my